me so what? Aaron, keep them arms like this, okay, when you're walking. Yeah. See, there you go. Look at that. Uh. All right, boom. Day one of land clearing. Last night, we came outside and tagged the trees that we wanted to take down. Once we get these guys down, we will reevaluate to see if there are any others that need to go as well. We want some trees to remain around the A-frame to provide some shade, so we don't want to overclear and then regret it. Clearing land is a huge task, no matter how many times you've done it. This isn't our first time. We cleared land for livestock on our previous property, so we knew the work that lied ahead of us. Having the proper equipment to get the job done is definitely imperative. It makes life so much easier. A good chainsaw, a machine to pull the logs out, or to carefully push the stuck trees over in some cases, and a machine to dig out the stumps are all necessities for us. Our tractor has proved to be money well spent, as we expected it would be. It is 50 horsepower, so it has had no problem handling the tasks that we have put it up to, such as this. Another evening 
Joshua's work lies ahead of us. Josh mans the tractor and I do the rigging. We have a chain wrapped around the bucket here. I attach this hook to the open end of the chain, hook the logs, and Josh pulls them out. For now, we are stacking logs in a couple of different locations. Some will be for firewood, and others will go through the sawmill to become lumber for later projects. The branches will all get chipped along the way. Josh gets the logs to their destination. I unhook them and we start the process over with a couple of good jokes and laughs along the way. Of land clearing. We've been trying to make it out here for a couple of hours in the evening on weekdays just to try and chip away at it and get done as much as we can. Yeah, so I'm working full time. Aaron's full time with the farm, the kids, and homeschool, and all that good stuff. Um, so we got to push hard throughout the week. After work, Saturday and Sunday, so we get inside that A-frame before winter comes. And that's our goal. So today, we are going to try and pull some of these branches out that are behind us. Tomorrow, we're going to finish getting down the last of the trees. And then this weekend, we'll um, finish clearing up the branches that come down with those trees and yep. maybe chipping. Start chipping also, yes. Yeah, so that's yep. the plan. All right. Good progress has been made so far. I think we're feeling really good right now. There's still some more branches and brush that need to be cleaned up and logs that need to be pulled out. So we're gonna start that first and then these trees right up here are gonna to have to come down so we can get the view that we're looking for.
portion, because we knew that the last batch of trees that we had to fall were coming up next. Next big project me and Aaron have is building the A of the A-frame. We do a mock-up today, so we're going to be going 24 feet wide and it's going to be 22 feet tall. So we bought a bunch of lumber today. We're going to go ahead and build the first mock-up. We'll see how it goes. Get a tractor. All right, we're trying to get started, but first, I am on a hunt to find shoes, baby girl shoes. Are they in the truck? I need her, I need, <gasps> daddy wins. Hey, Regan. want some decently high ceilings for our temporary master bedroom and bathroom below. The front side of the A will be facing the mountains and will have a family room and a lot of windows to maximize the view. So let's unstrap this little one, stand the mock-up, and take a quick peek. How small 
small the A looked when lying on the ground, and then to see how high it felt once it was standing. So where we're standing at right now is where it's going to be uh, the start of the loft. It goes back another 25 feet. Yeah, that's it, girl. rigging and pulling of the logs. So I saved you all the snoozer footage and just included some of the stump pickups and the basic idea of how it all went. digging down there to the roots, pulling all of those out, and then he can pull the stump out all together. So you can see this stump right here behind the bucket in the middle is what he's working on right now. He's going all the way around that, and then once he's got the roots around it all ripped loose, then he can get back in there and just pull that whole guy out. So this is it. 
This is what we are ending cleared with. That will be our view for the A-frame. The A-frame will run directly down here. So we dug out all of the stumps that are right in here where the actual A-frame is gonna be at. And these little ones that are up front and a couple on the side are merely just cosmetic. So we will deal with those by grinding them down with a stump grinder at a later date. Continuing this cleared a bit over here as well. And for a driveway and whatnot to get in. So that's pretty much it. Now it's time to start the footers.